you're backstage with hashtag RDM on Radio Random Network. Now, here's the host, hashtag RDM, Russell Devin McLean. It's May 10th, 2016, and I am your host, Russell Devin McLean. Thank you for joining me for this week's edition of Backstage with Hashtag RDM. We are streaming live tonight from the Bayou State of Louisiana on Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and at our official website, RadioRandomNetwork.com. I have another great show lined up for you this week. Going to be talking about the legendary country music band, Confederate Railroad. They have a brand new album out. I also had a chance to talk with the band's lead singer, Mr. Danny Shirley, about his time with legendary recording artists David Allen Coe and Johnny Paycheck. Plus, Danny talks about what inspired Confederate Railroad to head back to the studio and release new material after nine years. Plus, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the controversy surrounding the split between Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne. Also got some news about Mark Chestnut and his latest project. Before we get into the program, I just want to send out a quick reminder that we are live and you can join in on the conversation and talk with me by joining the chat room on Spreaker. With all of that said, let's officially kick off this week's episode of Backstage with Hashtag RDM with the Potter Family Spotlight of the Week. If you're looking for great shows to listen to, like this podcast, just go to Twitter and search Hashtag Potter Family. This is one of the shows that may pop up. Check it out. Where was I? Oh yeah. So then I... And then we... Some other... Jesus Christ... Well, well, it gets better than I. No, you didn't really. Exactly. Like, I just. And then the cops came and. And then just. No. Yeah. But then really. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. That all happened. On the Now Loaded podcast. Check it out. All right, we're back here on Backstage with Hashtag RDM Live as we are every Tuesday night at 7.05 Central Standard Time right here at RadioRandomNetwork.com forward slash live. Before we go any further, I want to remind everyone that all the links talked about on tonight's broadcast can be found in the show notes for this episode at RadioRandomNetwork.com. Now, as I talked about a while ago, Confederate Railroad has made a return, so to speak. For those of you who don't know who Confederate Railroad is, I'll give you a little backstory. Confederate Railroad, they're a mixture between country rock or, or southern rock band. They was founded in 1987. Original members, Michael Lamb, Lee Guitar, Chris McDaniel, Warren Nichols, Wayne Seacrest, Danny Shirley, lead vocals. The band was actually a backup band for outlaw country acts such as David Allen Coe and Johnny Paycheck. And, and they signed their first recording contract with Atlantic Records and released their self-titled debut album in the same year. Danny talks about this in the interview but the last album that was that was released from confederate railroad was confederate railroad live back to the ballrooms confederate railroad is back on the tracks with a new album titled lucky to be alive it's going to be available july 15th uh the project features a special 20th anniversary version of trashy women featuring willie nelson john anderson and colt ford the multi-platinum recording group confederate railroad is making their return to the radio and retail with the upcoming album the project marks the first album released in nine years for the Grammy-nominated group and will be released July 15th, as I said, to music retailers nationwide. The AMC award-winning band are also bringing their star power on the album with guest appearances from Willie Nelson, John Anderson, Colt Ford, and former NFL coach Jerry Glansville. Now, in addition to that revamped new version of Trashy Women, the highly anticipated album is featuring all new material from the instant catchy title track to the feel good anthem of if i ever cross that line it's got some great songs on it they're going to be hitting the road to support lucky to be alive with a jam-packed summer spring tour scheduled and you can find those tour dates in today's show notes i've added them uh fans also be treated to performances uh, of some of their biggest hits including queen of memphis and daddy never was the cadillac kind along with the new tracks from the upcoming group be sure to check out the country rockers in a city near you i'm sure you'll have a hell raising good time now, last week I had a chance to talk with the lead singer of the band, 
uh, Mr. Danny Shirley. Danny touches on the band's time with David Allen Coe and Johnny Paycheck, which was pretty interesting. And he got in some hot water with him, and <laughs> you'll hear why. He also gives the, ins- the inspiration behind the new album, Lucky to Be Alive. So without further ado, here is my conversation with the lead singer of Confederate Railroad, Mr. Danny Shirley. All right. Joining me today is this very special guest. I grew up on the music uh, of, of this guy. Um, real honor and pleasure to sit here and talk to the one and only Mr. Danny Shirley from the Confederate Railroad. Mr. Danny, how you doing today, bud? I'm doing great, bud. Glad to be talking with you today. Yes, sir. Like I said, it is a pleasure. I grew up on your music. Uh, your music still played down here, and uh, everybody's still enjoying it. And we're very excited to know that there's going to be a brand new album. It's called "Lucky to Be Alive." Mister Danny, give us a little insight uh, behind because it's been a, it's been a, a, a few years since you you, you had a, a an album out, pretty much like uh, as far as retailers and, and radio. So, give us a little insight behind the inspiration behind the album. Well, it is the first uh, new uh, studio material we've done in 15 years. Uh, we did a live album, wow. then we did another cover album for a label. But, uh, yes, yeah, the first new music in 15 years. And didn't really intend to make this one, Russell. We um, uh, Some of these new acts that are out and selling so many records now have come to me the past few years and talked about growing up like you did, listening to my music and being big fans now. So I got thinking, well, let's uh, maybe I should write some of this stuff and, and pitch to these guys, which is something I've never done. So I got in touch with a couple of buddies of mine, Blue Miller and Sonny Lemaire, and um, we started writing together with the intention of pitching this material. But the deeper we got into it, the more it started sounding like a Confederate Railroad record. So uh, <laughs> we decided, to, well, let's just go ahead and make a new Railroad album. And, um, you know, I'll sell it on iTunes and at the shows and everything. And um, Chuck Rhodes over at Sony heard about it, right. that what we were doing, and uh, lo and behold, got a record deal with Sony for this new album. That is, that is awesome, man. And and um, you, you was doing the writing and everything. One song I really want to ask you about on the album, it, it, Lucky to Be Alive. Now, that's one you penned? Yeah, me and uh, Blue and Sonny wrote that. Um, yeah, it ended up becoming the title track off the album. And, uh, you know, I had that idea for several years um, there was a guy I knew that was probably the poorest person growing up that I ever heard that I ever knew of. And, uh, his father had a drinking problem and, uh, you know, which that caused problems in the family. And then he developed a drinking problem, which caused him problems. And, uh, that was where the idea came from. You know, of course, uh, this isn't just about him, but uh, that's what got me thinking about this. And I was real happy with the way that song turned out. Right. Well, with that said, you know, the song is very deep and it's, uh, you know, I, it, what is, give us a little insight behind the process of, of your songwriting or your creativity. Is there a certain mood you got to be in or do you have to go to a dark room or maybe are you the type of person that, that you can just take your wordsmith, you can just, you can just grade it right in poems. Uh, give us some insight. Behind oh, I'm not, uh, you know, some of these writers here in Nashville, they can sit down and, and just, they just kind of pause out of their mouth even when they're talking. Uh, I'm not like that. I have to have an idea. Uh, I have to be in a certain mood to write. And, um, uh, uh, as far as co-writing, I have to be with people that I know well. Right. You know, a lot of Nashville writers would just sit down with a total stranger and uh, uh, twice a day and write two songs. And I, I never was like that. Uh, I got to think about it a while. I got to, uh, uh, if I am going to co-write, it has to be people that I know and that I'm comfortable with uh, opening up to. And um, uh, a lot of these songs, I think we wrote seven or eight of the songs on the album together. And... Um, uh, you know, it, it's not. It doesn't come as easy for me as it does some of these guys here in Nashville that do it every day. So I kind of have to get in the mindset for it. That's pretty awesome. Now, in addition to the to the album, y'all did a revamped ver, uh, version of "Trashy Women" on the album, but uh, you're featuring a couple of your friends, uh, Willie Nelson. Well, we sure did. The reason we did that, you know, we started because um, there was no reason to recut "Trashy Women." You know, you sold millions of copies of that one. It's pretty much done. But uh, I wanted to do something for a foundation that we work with, um, a charitable organization. So we decided to recut Trashy Women with these other guest stars and give 100% of the proceeds from it to a charity. And, uh, you know, then I did the choruses. You've got uh, John Anderson doing the first verse. Willie Nelson sang the second verse. And then Colt Ford did the third verse. And, uh, man, we just had a great time doing that. I'm, I'm just real happy with the way it turned out. Yes, indeed. Well, in addition to the album, you also have a, a tour. Are you excited about going on the road? 
Well, we've always stayed on the road. You know, uh, uh, we still do 100, 120 shows every year. And, uh, you know, with us going on tour to promote a new record, basically we just add a few new songs off the new album to the show we're already doing. But uh, we've always been a working band. Uh, you know, we love being on the road and, and staying busy and doing these shows. So it won't change much. It'll change a few songs in the show, but that's about it. Yes, indeed. Now, Mr. Danny, before uh, Confederate Railroad, I mean, I was reading up, you guys I, I actually uh, were uh, the back band for uh, uh, the likes of David Allen Coe and, and the great uh, Johnny Paycheck. Can give us a little Yeah, that, on, on that was a great that way about. to get it. Yeah, that was a great way to get an education in this business. Uh, you know, we were Dave, I was David's band leader, road manager for years, and before that spent some time with Paycheck. And, uh, you know, I was a big fan of both those guys anyway, their music, and, uh, you know, spend those years on the road with them and learning the craft. And um, it's real funny, me and David were riding around town one night. I was working on the second album, so we'd already had several hits. And uh, he said, uh, he said, I read this interview you did, kind of ticked me off. <laughs> And I laughed, and I said, well, what what I say about you? He said, you told this guy you learned more about what not to do in the music business for me than what to do. <laughs> and he said, then I got to think about it realize he's probably right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that was a great education. Yes, indeed. That's awesome. Well, I know you got a busy day here, but before I let you go real quick, uh, is there anything you'd like to uh, to say to the fans or any, anybody out there really quick? Uh, well, you know, really, we, I'd, I'd love to get back down in your neck of the woods sometimes. Uh, I know most acts don't do this anymore, but uh, after every show, you know, we hang out and sign autographs, take pictures, and and uh, more than anything else, though, I just like talking to the people that come to the shows, and uh, you know, they'll uh, uh, sometimes give me some stories of how a certain one of our songs has had an effect on their life or something, and uh, you know, so anytime they get do get a chance to come see us, be sure and hang around after the show and uh, come visit with us a little bit. That's awesome. Well, Mr. Danny, look, I'm going to go ahead and. We're going to get off of here. For more information about Confederate Railroad, you can go to confederaterailroad.net. The new album will be available July 15th. It's lucky to be alive. Mr. Danny, thank you so much for joining me here today, my friend. It's been an honor and a pleasure to talk to you. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much. All right, Mr. Danny. Thank you so All much. All right, bud. What well, about sums it up, huh? Yes, sir, it does. Well, I appreciate your time, Russell. Have a good day, bud. I appreciate your time, too, Mr. Danny. Thank you so much. Yes, sir, thank you. Goodbye. Great to talk to Mr. Danny Shirley, Confederate Railroad. And I really meant it. It was an honor and a pleasure to sit there and talk to him. I, I just remember she took it like a man, one of their one of their hits coming out and, and being at my grandma's house and, and them playing it over and over on uh, TNN for, I guess, oh, uh, us, old fo- us old fogies now that know what TNN is, uh, the Nashville Network back in the day used to play music videos. Used to really enjoy that. For more information about Confederate Railroad, like I said, go to confederaterailroad.net. they got a pretty cool website. You can keep up with all the news, the updates, and I'm sure they've got a link on there where you can pre-order the Lucky to Be Alive album from Confederate Railroad. First album in 15 years. That's pretty cool. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little pause for the worthy calls, but stick around because there's more to come. We'll be right back. with another man when I was only three Daddy took to drinking for years he took it out on me Just a kid when I left home I turned 18 in jail Looking back I should have known I never had a chance in hell I'm lucky to be alive only by the grace of God that I survived Many times I should have been dead And spit in the devil's eyes Still I'm lucky to be alive I learned to drink like my old man Raised a lot of cane I could say it was all his fault But I've only got myself to blame Got caught with another man's woman He pulled a gun, lost his nerve If he'd have killed me right then and there 
got to count what I deserve. I'm lucky to be alive. It's only by the grace of God that I survive. Many times I should have been dead in the spit of the devil's eyes. Instead, I'm lucky to be alive. Judge me whether I'm damned or saved. I meet the man that makes the call on that judgment day. And I'm lucky to be alive. It's only by the grace of God that I survive. Many times I should have been dead, spit in the devil's eye. And I'm lucky I'm lucky to be alive That was Lucky to Be Alive by Confederate Railroad. Going to be on their brand new album, Titled Lucky to be Alive, which would be available at all major retailers at July 15th, I think. Yes, July 15th. I want to thank Mr. Danny Shirley for joining me. I want to thank you so much for sticking with us so far for Backstage with Hashtag RDM right here on Thursday, May 10th, 2016. Having a good time here. All right, y'all. We talked about Confederate Railroad. Now let's talk a little bit about the controversy surrounding Ozzy Osbourne. The rumor mills are going crazy. And I mean, well, before I get started, I'm sure everybody knows who Ozzy Osbourne is, right? Ozzy Osbourne, he rode to fame with the, uh, back in the uh, early 70s with the, as lead vocalist of the band Black Sabbath. And, you know, everybody should know who Ozzy Osbourne is. They had the Osbournes. But with all of that said, uh, it has been reported and allegedly that, uh, Ozzy and wife Sharon, who is a uh, host on The Talk, are calling it quits. Now, something to do with Ozzy sleeping with a hairdresser and cheating on her, which is ain't the first time that Ozzy has cheated, according to reports that allegedly he he uh, she called him back in the day with uh, two nannies uh, caught in the act on uh, with one of them. And then uh, here recently, the reports are coming out that they are calling it quits. And I hate to hear that. I mean, it must be a a conspiracy around uh, the reality uh, TV stars or couples, so to speak. But this just come out, and this is why I wanted to talk about this, because the rumors have been going crazy. And I don't really like talking about things that are, you know, that are, surrounded around rumors or coming from the tabloids or anything. But according to People Magazine, Sharon and Ozzy, uh, no divorce is being discussed at the present moment. Uh, According to Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne, may be separated after 33 years of marriage, but that doesn't mean a divorce is on the table. Now, a source told People Magazine that no divorce is being discussed in the present time. Previously, a a source told people that they would not be surprised if the couple worked through their breakup, noting that Sharon believes that Ozzy is having an affair. And and news of Sharon and Ozzy's separation broke Saturday, and on Monday, Sharon did not appear on the talk. Now, uh, one of the co-hosts, I think uh, Julie Chin, uh, I may have said her name wrong, I'm not really sure, I I do not watch the talk, so you got to forgive me. But they have dressed Sharon's absence on the show, and... uh, it basically saying that there were many tabloid headlines uh, over the weekend about Sharon and her husband, Ozzy, and rumors speculated that a divorce and a split was being talked about after 33 years of marriage. But uh, Sharon understandably took the day off and 
with all of that said, uh, I wish Sharon and Ozzy the best. You know, this is this is crazy. I mean, everybody loves Ozzy Osbourne. I know I do. I love his music and everything. And Sharon has been his uh, manager and and his wife for for over thirty three years now. You know, and they met in the early seventies, and Ozzy split from. Black Sabbath, I want to say around 1979, and she managed the rocker solo career. They wed in 1982, have three children together. But I'm hoping that all works out for Ozzy and Sharon. And hopefully this isn't the end for Ozzy and Sharon. You know, the couple who were married 33 years, they have split up over uh, the allegations of, of cheating. But the call, talk co-host believes Ozzy is having an affair, and despite another inside stating the possibility of reconciliation would be awesome. I want to wish Sharon and Ozzy the best. Moving on, guys. Got a little news coming from the Mark Chestnut count. That's right. News broke today, May 10th. Uh, Row Entertainment, which is an exciting new label in Nashville, they have announced the signing of country music superstar Mark Chestnut to its roster. Uh, Chestnut is one of the most iconic voices in the music business, uh, thanks to hits such as uh, I'll Think of Something, Your Love is a Miracle, and uh, they're going to release Tradition Lives uh, for Row later this year. That's, Row Entertainment will release the new uh, album, which is titled tradition lives uh it's going to be the first studio release of all new music since 2008 i'm seeing a rise of the classic country music and the 90s country music coming back these people are headed back to the studios they're being signed they're going on tour uh it's great to see mark chestnut has falling into that as well as uh, we've talked to John Anderson, who has done it. You can go back and listen to that at RadioRandomNetwork.com. You can hear an interview with Lori Morgan, who has also done the same thing. But, you know, Jimmy Ritchie, who is associated with Roe, uh, have been making music for years with Mark Chestnut and, and, and understands what he does. And it's solely behind him, you know, with all of that said, uh, you know, hopefully we can have Mr. Mark Chestnut on in the next coming uh, weeks to talk about the uh, the first studio album release with all the new music. It's going to be titled Tradition Lives. It's going to be coming out later this year, Row Entertainment. Good to know. By the way, guys, if you have been to RadioRandomNetwork.com, I'm sure you've seen the video player there and it says uh take a test drive and basically what that is guys is every month uh, test drive which is by hot seat showcases an artist uh from the past present and the future and this month on the test drive legendary country star ronnie mcdowell is taking the test drive down Music Road to discuss the details behind the release of his new autobiography, bringing it to the, bringing it to you personally, which illustrates his experiences throughout four decades as an entertainer. So go check that out. I'll put the link in the show notes. Ronnie's also on tour. You can catch him May thirteenth at the Old King Cole Festival in West Frankfort, Illinois, and uh, at the Strawberry Festival, May 14th, Portland, Tennessee. Always great to talk to Ronnie McDowell. I I'd like to consider him a friend. You can also check out our interview with him at RadioRandomNetwork.com as well. Uh, before we go here today, guys, I just want to let you know that Radio Random Network and Backstage with Hashtag RDM is fan-supported and listener-supported, supported by people just like you, our weekly shows are free to listen to. And if you enjoy the show, you can please consider supporting. Uh, it It helps with uh, 
hosting, equipment, uh, phone credit, software costs, as well as the incredibly time-consumed processing the production here. And uh, there's many ways you can con- you can support, you can contribute monetarily by becoming a Patreon. You can find that link in the show notes. And uh, you can also uh, subscribe, rate, and review the show on iTunes. That helps the show climb up the charts. And, uh, you know, this will not only increase the audience, but it gives the show uh, the clout to attract uh, prominent figures as guests in the future. Uh, You can also add the show on Google Play now. Uh, You can add it to your Stitcher Radio playlist. We're also on Tune in. You can check us out there. Share the show various social media platforms. And there's so many more ways to support the Radio Random Network and keep it free for our listeners. If you decide to do so, just go to RadioRandomNetwork.com and click on the support tab at the top of the page. With all of that said, guys, not much left here this week on uh, Backstage with Hashtag RDM. Only had one guest, which is fine. And uh, I want to send a shout out to my friends at Webster Public Relations for hooking us up with Mr. Danny Shirley of Confederate Railroad. I want to encourage everyone to go back to last week's show and check it out. I talked with Mr. Daryl Worley and the legendary Rex Rex Allen Jr. I almost said Rex McDaniel, one of my compadres here in the state of Louisiana I play music with. But uh, no, it was Rex Allen Jr., and uh, that that's also up from last week's uh, episode of Backstage with Hashtag RDM. By the way, I forgot to mention, guys, if you get a chance, Restless Heart is back on the on the rails as well. And they're they're back flying. Uh, they're not flying under the radar anymore, so to speak. Uh, they debuted the Wichita Lineman. It's a music biz- video in honor of Glenn Campbell. Um, you can go check it out. I think Taste of Country. Shout out to those guys. They premiered the show uh, last week. But I'll share that link in the show notes as well. If you would like to have your music reviewed here on Radio Random Network, all you have to do is drop me a line. Russell at RadioRandomNetwork.com. We're going to be starting that uh, music review vlog here shortly. That's going to be up at RadioRandomNetwork.com. We're looking for music to review. We'll also talk about it on the show. May even have you on as a guest. If you would like to advertise here on Radio Random Network, that'd be a big help. All you have to do is email me, Russell at RadioRandomNetwork.com. Put advertise in the subject line. You can also, guys, a really cool feature on the website now, you can send us a voicemail. You can comment or ask a question or whatever you want to do. You can leave me a little 60-second uh, voicemail. If it's good, if, it, if it's cool, if it's like a, it's something that you're praising us for or if it's a question you want to ask or something like that, we'll play it here on the show. And with all of that said, don't forget to sign up for the monthly newsletter at Radio Random Network. When you sign up for the monthly newsletter, you're also entered to win automatically in our monthly contest and giveaways. Also, guys, the 11th Annual Podcast Awards have kicked off. Nominations are under review. I've seen our name on there, so we must be nominated. So I'll let you know more about that in the coming weeks. With all of that said, friends, there's not much more to say here today. Uh, be sure and tune in next Thursday, next Tuesday. I apologize. I'll be back next Tuesday, uh, 7.05 Central Standard Time, right here on Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and RadioRandomNetwork.com. Y'all be sure and Join me. Check me out. I just want to remind y'all there is a chat room, so if you would like to chat with me or ask questions or hang out with me or whatever, you can do that all in the chat room. With all of that said, not much left, as I said, so it's about that time. We're going to go on and get on out of here. I'm hashtag RDM Russell Devin McLean. You've been listening to... You you have been listening to Radio Random Networks backstage with hashtag RDM 
right here on the Radio Random Network. Be sure and look us up on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, SoundCloud, or even on YouTube. You can hear the entire show for the next week or so right here on all of those platforms. No clue who's going to be with me next week. I'm sure it's going to be a great interview. Got getting things going on here. Join me this week for more news, interviews, and reviews with your favorite celebrities and recording artists from the entertainment world. I'm hashtag Russell Devin McLean. I'm hashtag RDM Russell Devin McLean. And you've been listening to Backstage with hashtag RDM. Thank you so much. We'll talk at you next week.